Hello Lighthouse Home Groups. I'm so excited to kick off 2023 with you. Last year we took some time to talk about the vision of the Lighthouse. Love God, grow together, serve others, and extend our reach. This year we thought a great way to follow that up would be to talk about Lighthouse values based on the Creating Culture series from the end of last year. Our vision is important because it tells us this is what we do. That's why we use these four words of action, love, grow, serve, and reach. Our values are important because they express who we are and what we stand for. Our lead pastor, Louis Salazar, told us that values are a person's principles or standards of behavior, one's judgment of what is important in life. Now, individually, we may all have different ideas about what our personal values are, but it is important as a church that we have shared values that we can all point to and say, these are the things that are important to us as a church body. These are the standards that we all agree upon and that we live by. We are blessed at the Lighthouse to have great variety and diversity in our church. We are multi-generational, multi-ethnic, and multilingual. We have differences in countries of origin with their own cultures. We may speak different languages. We have different social and family backgrounds. These are all things that we embrace and celebrate. This beautiful diversity, however, makes it even more important that we have an established set of values that unite us all together, no matter what other external differences we may have. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 2 through 6 says, Always be humble and gentle. Be patient with each other, making allowances for each other's faults because of your love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the Spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. For there is one body and one Spirit, just as you have been called to one glorious hope for the future. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and one Father of all, who is over all, in all, and living through all. You can see that being one, united together, is actually something that God commands us to do. That is why these 12 values that we will talk about are so important. They establish what we like to call lighthouse culture. Our values unite our church full of all kinds of different people together as one church. With that in mind, let's take the rest of our time together today and look at our first value. The Bible is everything. You may have heard people say that phrase before. It almost seems flippant these days. I've heard people describe a movie as everything, a song as everything, even a tasty meal as everything. Oh, this meal is everything. It's become the expected answer to an overused question. A sideline interviewer asked an athlete, you've just won the big game, what does this mean to you? Without fail, they answer, this means everything to me. Or maybe a reality TV host asked a contestant, what would it mean to you to win this competition? With tears in their eyes, they always say, that would just mean everything to me. I guess that's the answer the interviewer wants to hear because they always move on to the next question after that short answer. It means everything. Instead, the athlete should probably say something like, well, this is the culmination of years of practice and preparation. I have trained my body to be able to do this very specific thing with this very specific ball. I have sacrificed things I wanted to eat, leisure, and time with my family to attain these very specific skills. And now seeing all of these hardships pay off in this victory at this point in time is immensely gratifying and it makes it all worth the time and effort. Or the reality contestant could more accurately express, winning this competition and the prize that comes with it would mean I can attain the fame that I've been seeking. It would validate the time that I have spent honing my special talents to the exclusion of everything else. It will also produce financial independence for myself and my family. Of course, the interviewer would probably look at this athlete or contestant as if they were crazy for giving these drawn out answers, but, in that short little answer that they give, it is everything, a lot more is implied. So when we say the Bible is everything, it is important to understand what the everything actually means. First, the Bible is everything because it tells us who God is and what he is like. We can have a general idea of what God is like because we can observe his creation around us. 
This lets us know that there is a powerful and creative being at work that has made the universe. Psalm 19, 1 and 2 says, The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The skies display His craftsmanship. Day after day they continue to speak. Night after night they make Him known. This is what is known as general revelation. With the Bible, however, we have what is known as special revelation. This means that God has chosen to reveal Himself to us and His character. Because of the scripture, we can know that He is holy, He is righteous, He is eternal, He is unchangeable, He is pure, He is wrathful, He is patient, He is faithful, He is love. If you think about it, without the Bible, what could we know about God beyond His creation if He had not chosen to reveal Himself to us? The invitation to a personal knowledge of Himself through the Bible is one of God's greatest gifts to humanity. The Apostle Paul said in Philippians 3, 8 and 9, Everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For His sake I have discarded everything else, counting it all as garbage, so that I could gain Christ and become one with Him. This is strong language, but Paul understood that knowing God is of utmost importance, and therefore, so is the Bible. The Bible is everything because in it, God reveals himself as well as his love, grace, and mercy to us. Second, the Bible is everything because it teaches us what to believe and how we should act. In fact, we wouldn't have our list of 12 values without the Bible. God's word is truth, not your truth or my truth, but the truth. When you carefully study what the Bible says and compare it to the reality of the world around us, you will see that indeed the Bible is true in everything that it addresses. We can trust the Bible, and from it, we derive our doctrines of faith and our guidelines on how to conduct ourselves in life. 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17 says, All scripture is inspired by God and is useful to teach us what is true and to make us realize what is wrong in our lives. It corrects us when we are wrong and teaches us to do what is right. God uses it to prepare and equip His people to do every good work. The Bible tells us what to believe about the Trinity, about creation, about life, about family, and about God's plan of salvation. The Bible tells us how to raise children. It teaches us how to resolve conflict. It gives direction for dealing with grief and loss. It lays out how government should be run and how good citizens should interact with that government. The Bible tells us how our church should look and how Christians should treat one another within that church. The Bible gives a history of God's interaction with mankind, and it tells us what will happen in the future. In the Bible, God gives us commands to follow for living. This is not because God is a controlling dictator who doesn't want anyone to have any fun, as some people seem to think, but rather because He has created us and loves us, and He knows what is best for us. The Bible has words of wisdom for the young and for the old and everyone in between. It tells us what we should do and what we should not do. The Bible explains what we should think about and what we shouldn't think about. The Bible is everything because we should turn to its words and its wisdom in whatever circumstance we are facing. No matter the trouble, trial, or challenge that we come across, whether it was caused by our own actions or the actions of others, our first thought should be, what does the Bible have to say about this situation? What biblical truth should I apply here? When we make the Bible everything in our lives, in our families, and our church, we can't go wrong. I believe King David would agree with our first lighthouse value that the Bible is everything. Listen to how he talks about God's word in Psalm 119. He says, Oh, how I love your instructions. I think about them all day long. Your commands make me wiser than my enemies, for they are my constant guide. Yes, I have more insight than my teachers, for I am always thinking of your laws. I am even wiser than my elders, for I have kept your commandments. I have refused to walk on any evil path, so that I remain obedient to your word. I haven't turned away from your regulations, for you have taught me well. How sweet your words taste to me. They are sweeter than honey. Your commandments give me understanding. No wonder I hate every false way of life. Your word is a lamp to guide my feet and a light for my path. The Bible is everything. It is our foundation, our light, our guide. 
thank the Lord for revealing himself to us and giving us these inspired words on which to build our faith and our lives. Mm -hmm.